TRAPPIST-1 is an ultra-cool red dwarf star in the constellation Aquarius with a planetary system of seven known planets. It has a mass about 9% of the Sun's, a radius slightly larger than the planet Jupiter, and a surface temperature of about 2,566 K. The star is 40.7 light-years from the Sun and is estimated to be 7.6 billion years old, making it older than the solar system. In 2016 and 2017, Observations from the Transiting Planets and Planetesimals Small Telescope Telescope at La Silla Observatory in Chile, and numerous other space and ground-based telescopes, led to the discovery of two terrestrial planets in orbit around the star. An additional signal in the data was later found to be the result of five planets, bringing the total to seven. The orbital periods, the time it takes for each planet to orbit the star, range between one and a half days and 18.9 days. The periods of neighboring planets have precise numerical ratios of 8 to 5, 5 to 3, 3 to 2, 3 to 2, 4 to 3, and 3 to 2. This orbital resonance could have existed since the formation of the planetary system. The planets are likely to be tidally locked to TRAPPIST-1, which might force them to keep the same side facing their host star at all times. The orbits of as many as four of the planets may correspond within the habitable zone, C, of the star and thus to have temperatures suitable to the presence of liquid water and the development of life. Whether they actually contain liquid water is a function of numerous properties of the planets, including whether they have an atmosphere. There is no clear evidence that any of the planets has an atmosphere and it is unclear whether the planets could retain an atmosphere given TRAPPIST-1's radiation emission. The low densities of the planets indicate they may consist of large amounts of volatile material. There is no clear evidence that any of the planets has an atmosphere and it is unclear whether the planets could retain an atmosphere given TRAPPIST-1's radiation emission. No evidence of additional planets around TRAPPIST-1 has been found, and the existence of gas planets more than 4.6 times as massive as Jupiter at an orbital period of one year, and of a planet more massive than 1.6 Jupiter masses at five years can be ruled out. The hypothetical eighth planet would be designated TRAPPIST-1i, and its orbital properties have been predicted under the assumption that it orbits exterior to planet H and is part of the planetary resonance. The estimated densities of the TRAPPIST-1 planets are lower than Earth's which may imply that their cores are smaller than that of Earth, that they have large amounts of volatiles, that their iron exists in an oxidized form rather than as a core or that they are rocky planets with less iron than Earth. The planets are in orbital resonances, with the durations of their orbits having ratios of 8 to 5, 5 to 3, 3 to 2, 3 to 2, 4 to 3, and 3 to 2 between neighboring planet pairs, and with each triplet being in a Laplace resonance. The resonances make the planets go alternately ahead and behind in their orbits over the resonance periods, in greater amounts than simple estimates indicate, something which makes studies of the system easier such as measuring the planet's masses when other techniques are not available. Tidal forces are dominated by the star's contributions and result in all planets having reached an equilibrium with slow rotation of the planets and tidal locking, which can imply that the rotation of a planet and its revolution around its star are synchronized. The mutual interactions of the planets could prevent them from reaching a full synchronization by forcing periodic or episodic full rotations of the planet's surfaces with respect to the star, on timescales of several Earth years, which would have important implications for the climate of the planets. As a consequence, the planets of TRAPPIST-1 are likely to undergo substantial tidal heating, which would facilitate volcanism and outgassing, especially on the innermost planets. Tidal phenomena can influence the masses of the planets observed from Earth. All the planets would be visible from each other and would in many cases appear larger than the Moon in the sky of Earth, but at least TRAPPIST-1e, F and G cannot experience any total eclipses. The same amount of radiation results in a warmer planet compared to a sun-like irradiation with more radiation being absorbed at the top of an atmosphere rather than the bottom. Whether liquid water actually occurs on any of the planets depends on several other factors, namely the albedo, the presence or absence of a strong greenhouse effect on each planet and presence or absence of an atmosphere. Inclusion of the effects of volcanic activity may extend the habitable zone of TRAPPIST-1 to TRAPPIST-1h. Intense extreme ultraviolet and X-rays can cause water to escape from planets, by splitting it into hydrogen along with oxygen gas, and heating the upper atmosphere until they escape from the planet. No moons with a size comparable to Earth's have been detected around TRAPPIST-1, and moons are unlikely in such a densely packed planetary system, as they would tend to be either torn apart by their planet's gravity after going inside the planet's Roche limit, or else stripped from the planet by going outside of the planet's hill radius. The TRAPPIST-1 planets are expected to be within the Alvin surface of their host star, the area around the star within which any planet would directly magnetically interact with the corona of the star, 
possibly destabilizing any atmosphere the planet has. Stellar energetic particles would not create a substantial radiation hazard for organisms on TRAPPIST-1 planets, if atmospheres reach pressures of about 1 bar. The distribution of the fragments would control the mass the planets end up having at the end, and the planets would consist of circa 10% water, which is consistent with inference from observations. The resonance may have either been present from the start and was preserved when the planets moved inward simultaneously, or it might have formed later, when inward migrating planets accumulated at the outer edge of the gas disk and interacted with each other. Inward migrating planets would contain substantial amounts of water, too much for it to escape completely, whereas planets that formed in their current location would most likely lose it all. The orbital distance of the innermost planet TRAPPIST-1b is consistent with the expected radius of an inward moving planet around a star that was one order of magnitude brighter in the past and with the cavity in the protoplanetary disk created by TRAPPIST-1's magnetic field. The lack of giant impacts would help the planets preserve their volatile inventory. As of 2020, there is no definitive evidence that any of the TRAPPIST-1 planets has an atmosphere. For a number of reasons, with existing telescopes and observations one cannot infer whether any of the planets around TRAPPIST-1 have an atmosphere or its composition. Impact events would be particularly important in the outer planets, as impact events can both add and remove volatiles from the planets, in the outermost planets addition is likely dominant. The properties of TRAPPIST-1 are unfavorable to the continued existence of atmospheres around its planets, on the other hand the formation conditions of the planets would give them large initial volatile inventories, including oceans over 100 times larger than Earth's. The emission of extreme ultraviolet radiation by a star has an important influence on the stability of the atmospheres of its planets, their composition and the habitability of their surface, as it can power the ongoing removal of atmospheres, atmospheric escape, from planets. The stellar wind from TRAPPIST the 1st of May have a pressure a thousand times larger than that from the Sun, which could destabilize the atmospheres of the TRAPPIST-1 planets up to planet F, as the pressure would push the wind deep into their atmospheres, this would facilitate the evaporation of the atmospheres and the loss of water. Water, if any exists, could persist only in specific settings on the planet, and its actual surface temperature could be as high as 1200 degrees Celsius, making TRAPPIST-1ba candidate magma ocean planet. Based on numerous climate models, the planet may or may not have been desiccated by TRAPPIST-1's stellar wind and radiation although density estimates of the planet, if confirmed, demonstrate that it is not dense enough to consist solely of rock. TRAPPIST-1f could have kept up to several Earth ocean masses of water that could make up as much as 50% of the planet's mass, it could thus be an ocean planet. Due to the multiple interacting planets, TRAPPIST-1 planets are expected to feature intense tides. In light of the small distances between the planets of TRAPPIST-1, it is possible that microorganisms ripped from one planet while encased in rocks may arrive at another planet while still viable inside the rock, allowing life to spread between the planets if it originates on one. Anomalies in the light curves measured by the telescope in 2015 led to the discovery of TRAPPIST-1b and TRAPPIST-1c in a third planet. The discovery of the TRAPPIST-1 planets is often incorrectly attributed to NASA, but in actuality the TRAPPIST project that led to their discovery involved funding from both NASA and the European Research Council of the European Union. NASA started a public campaign on Twitter to find names for the planets, which drew numerous serious and less serious responses, although the names of the planets will be decided by the International Astronomical Union. The planets have been used as the basis of science education competitions and websites offering TRAPPIST-1-like planets as settings of virtual reality simulations exist such as the Exoplanet Travel Bureau, and the Exoplanets Excursion, both of NASA. Scientific accuracy has been a point of discussion for such cultural depictions of TRAPPIST-1 planets. Its planets are the most easily studied planets within the habitable zone outside of the solar system, owing to their relative closeness, the small size of their host star, and the fact that, from Earth's perspective, they frequently pass in front of their host star. Together with the discovery of Proxima Centauri b, the discovery of the TRAPPIST-1 planets in the fact that about three of TRAPPIST-1's planets are within its habitable zone has led to an upswing of studies on planetary habitability, and the planets are considered prototypical for the research on the habitability of M dwarfs. The star has been subject of detailed studies of its various aspects, including the possible effects of vegetation and whether an ocean could be detected by using starlight reflected off its surface, and even discussions of possible efforts to terraform its planets and difficulties inhabitants of the planets would face with interstellar travel.